What up, everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. There has been an explosion of people leaving comments along the lines of, Hey, I have this much to spend. I want to get into the hobby. What do you recommend? Or, Hey, I would really, I'm really interested in, in getting into this hobby. Is there something that you recommend I have this much to spend? It's basically just been a whole bunch of people seeing the videos that we make and seeing the community that we're a part of and saying, I want a part of that but not knowing exactly how to get into it. So I figured I would make a quick little roundup video as of April, 2023. This is definitely gonna be out of date in like a month, but that's fine. Where I take you guys through your basic entry level options to get into the community. Cause I've seen so many people and unfortunately having one solid recommendation for everyone is just not possible. And we'll get into why in a bit here. First of all, let's go over price range. These are ordered from cheapest to most expensive. This is the 30 to 150 US dollar range. Now, let me just say, I have seen a lot of people say, hey, I have $20, $30. I, if you only have 20 to 30 US dollars to spend, I would recommend just waiting and saving up because the stuff in the sub, let's say $45 range, is just not great. You have one option and it's a default diode, which is this from Zippy Balasong for $30, or you can customize it for 40 to $45. But by the time you get to the $45, then I would say you should get an Abali's Lightning on Amazon. Now, both of those are gonna run on washers. And since this is a video that's supposed to be intended for new people, let's go over what washers are really quick. You see these brown circles in here? Those are washers. Let me see if I have, where's my Vulp box really quick. Here we go. So these are washers. These act as a buffer zone between your blade and your handles. These are what wear instead of the blade or the handles. They're replaceable. When you take apart your balisong, you should replace these. It's good practice too. You don't necessarily have to, I guess. But when you only have washers, when you tighten down these screws, there's nothing to stop the handles from squeezing the blade. And when the handles squeeze the blade, the handles won't move. Now I can't exactly show you that unless I can really quickly find my screwdriver. Where is my screwdriver? I don't see my screwdriver anywhere. Um. Okay, my screwdriver is, am I, oh no, it's in here. Gosh, I'm an idiot. So when you tighten these screws, essentially, I don't want to do it on that because then I'm going to, essentially what happens is this. This is called binding. Your handle doesn't swing because you've tightened the screws so much that now the handles are squeezing both the washers and the blade. That's what you get when you have a washer only balisong. And when you get something like the lightning or the Nibali's Lightning, which was what I would recommend for about $45, or something like the Diode. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit annoying because it takes a bit longer to tighten your screws, and your screws are going to come loose more often. Now, moving up, we have the plastic range. If you don't want the Nibali's Lightning for $45, you can go into plastic balisongs. Now, I have an entire video on this same channel called the Plastic Balisong Buyer's Guide. You should go check that out if you're interested in going down this route. We'll go into way more detail about every option on the market, what's good about them, what's bad about them. But for about 50 to $60, you can get something like a Calico, a default Calico, or you can get an Edit Light. Again, if that's something that you wanna do, if plastic is something that you wanna get, uh, check out the Plastic Balisong Buyer's Guide. A lot more info dedicated in that video to this. Next up, we have the stuff on Amazon. And that is where this beautiful little man comes in. This is the Vulp. This was made by one of the most prominent Balisong YouTubers by the name of Will Hirsch. He partnered with the Bally's. He designed it. They made it. And it is one of the most accessible, good flipping Balisong designs that we have in the community. Um, there's plenty of customization options. It flips really well, and it comes with a lot of good accessories. Now, this is the first Balisong on this list that's going to run on bushings. 
bushings are these little metal cylinders right here. You recall earlier that we talked about how washers can squeeze the blade if you tighten them too hard. Well, bushings will stick out from the blade just ever so slightly, a few hairs. And that means that when you tighten down your screws, the washers and the handles will tighten down on the bushing rather than the blade. Meaning that if you have correctly tuned bushings, the blade will always be able to move freely no matter how hard you crank the screws or tighten them down. Now that is really good because your screws aren't going to come loose as often because you can tighten them harder. And if they do come loose, it's a matter of, oh, turn your screwdriver, you're good to go. So it's just a lot easier. It doesn't really provide anything too crazy in terms of like swing. Swing is when the handles just swing. Um, it doesn't feel any smoother or anything like that. Good washers can feel just as smooth. It's just overall more convenient and uh, just better in the long term, less annoying. Now the Volp is going to run you $65. On, now it's not on Amazon, but I am putting it with the other Amazon ballast songs because it was available on Amazon. They're having some issues with Amazon banning them essentially. Um, but they're just as available. You can go on Nabalis.com and get one. You can go on Blade HQ and get one. They have the availability of an Amazon Bala song and everything like that. And the reason that I recommend this over some of the other Amazon Bala songs, like the Marcolo Comet, uh, Onal Adax, etc., is because not only do I think it flips the best, but it also comes with the best accessories. With the Vulp, you will get a T10 bit, which is the screw type that this uses. This is called T10. Some of these use T8. Some of them use T6s. None of the ones here use T6s. This is T8. This is T8. This is T10, T10, T10. Um, but it also is going to act as a pivot needle, so you can put it through your pivots to line everything up. Um, that's way down the road. But it also comes with, as you can see right here, this is the old version of the hardware. This is the new version. Uh, it comes with new pivots new screws, new bushings, and new washers. So you're going to have everything you need to service your vault um, and even learn about things like tuning, which is sanding your bushings until they're just the right width that they stick out from the blade just enough where you can crank them and still get good swing because if you have undersized bushings, then you're going to crank it and it's going to act like washers and it's going to squeeze because the bushing is too small for the blade. If you have oversized bushings, then the bushing is too big, which means you're going to have tap which is when your ballast song rattles, the blade rattles in between the handles, or you could even get blade rub, which is exactly what it sounds like when the blade rubs against the channel. Not great, but if you're dealing with a trainer, then it's okay. Um, but the Vulp also now comes with lube. I don't have any. Lube is obviously just lubricant that is going to make everything feel smoother. It's a good way to take care of your ballast songs. You just apply a drop to each one of those handles and you're off to the races and it also includes thread locker which doesn't really matter on a bushing ballast song but this is really important for washer ballast songs because you put a tiny bit of this on the screws and it essentially glues the screws into place so you can have just that right level of tightness without them backing out over time so that's the vulp 65 us dollars you could also get the other ones i mentioned on amazon the ono adax the Marcolo Comet. They're good flippers. They're going to do you well, but they're not going to come with all of the important stuff that you're going to need eventually, like the lube, the thread locker, or even the extra bushings. Now we move up to the even higher range. What if I don't want to spend, what if I want to spend even more than that? What if I have about a hundred bucks to spend? That's where this baby comes in and plenty others like it. This is not a comprehensive list. The reason I didn't really do one of these is because with the plastic ballast on buyer's guide, I have access to all of the good plastic ballast songs. I don't have access to all of the good budget ballast songs. So this is not a comprehensive list, but if you want to spend about $100 USD, this is the Glider Arctic. This runs for about $120. Um, there's also things like the Squid Industries Mako, which is going to be available a lot more, but that only runs on washers, whereas this runs on bushings. There's also things like the NRB Vortex, which doesn't really get released too often. You also have things like the LDY Orion, which is something that people are really, really hyped about right now. And even things like the, uh, I believe the new Nabali's trainer that they announced isn't out yet, but I think that'll be around 100. 
the Max Ace Phantom, etc. So if you want to spend a little bit more, just do some research, figure out what people say that the balance is, figure out what it runs on, um, and that'll be good. Most of the ballast songs in this range are going to be made out of 6061 aluminum, which is pretty good. I mean, these are obviously plastic, but 6061 aluminum is metal. It's a pretty solid metal. It's just going to dent a little bit if you drop it on things like concrete. Um, I guess, yeah, the vault. You can see the vault has a lot of little like scuffs and things. So it's going to be fine, but it's not going to be the most durable to things like that. Um, and also, just really quickly, biases. Handle bias means there's more weight in the handles. You're going to have a better time doing rollovers and things like that. Blade bias means there's more weight in the blade, which means fans are going to do better. But if there's too much blade bias, rollovers could be tough. And neutral means that there's a good balance between the two. So if you just find something that people say is like, handle bias is usually pretty good for beginners. If you find a ballast song that you think looks cool and people say is handle bias and it flips well, like the Arctic is a great example, pretty handle biased. Um, but flips pretty well and is really comfortable, then go for that. And now finally, we have the $150 range USD, which I'm representing with the Prisma. This is where you get into ballast songs that start flipping really, really well, have some better materials, not usually, but sometimes they'll have better materials and are just overall a really, really good value. I wouldn't recommend getting this for your first ballast song though, because in order to maintain one of these, you're going to need lubricant. You're going to need a T10 bit. You might even need something like a pivot needle. And those are all things that you're not going to have if this is your first ballast song. So I don't usually recommend that people spend over like 120 bucks on their first ballast song, just because if you get something like a Vulp, you will have a lot of the stuff you need, like the T10 bit, a little bit of lube, a little bit of Loctite, all that stuff. But if you do want to go up there, you can just please spend some extra money on some tools to properly maintain your ballast songs. This is the glider valley driver. This is a really good option. Replaceable bits um, and just an overall really solid product. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You got in that price range, you got the Prisma Antarctic Squid Trainer V4. Um, I'm probably forgetting a bunch, but I hope I've armed you with enough knowledge that you need to go out and buy something. Because uh, like I said, I've gotten so many comments that are like, hey, I have this much to spend, what should I get? And it's so much more of a complicated question than that. But generally, if you have about $80 to spend, I'd say get a bulb. You're going to get a really solid flipping experience. Um, and you're going to get a lot of accessories that are going to help you in your Balasong journey. So that pretty much does it. Hopefully I've armed you with the knowledge that you need to get your first ballast song and to join us in our wonderful community for many years to come. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.